Hello, welcome to the vlog. I'm currently on my way to Houston to see Taylor Swift tonight. It's Friday. The only thing is, I don't have tickets yet. So, I'm going to get tickets somehow, some way, before the show at least, like, is halfway through. So come along with me. Okay, hey guys, I'm Audrey. Welcome to the vlog. This is me after spoiler alert i saw taylor swift on friday filming outside the stadium was a little difficult i had some camera difficulties and i just like really want this video to be as informative as possible for those of you who don't have tickets who are trying to do what i did and got tickets last minute so i'm gonna be popping in and out of here um throughout the video to kind of explain uh things further. I think to start, um, I just want to also mention at this point I had already been to Arlington and I had tickets to go on Sunday, which I am like so extremely grateful for. Basically for Arlington, I got a code, got lower bowl tickets for Arlington, which was I think like three weeks before this vlog was filmed. And then for Houston Sunday, so I was staying at my family friend's house, Anna, Brooklyn, and Caroline. Anna and Brooklyn are the people who I'm going on Friday night with. Also who I'm going on Sunday night with. Brooklyn got us Sunday night tickets and then Anna got a code for Friday night because she never got one in the first place. And they basically asked her like her budget for tickets and she was able to get lower bowl tickets for her in Brooklyn on Friday. So I was already staying with them. They were already like on their way to go on Friday. And so it was like I might as well just hop in the car and go with them. So that's the context. This video is long because I did wait outside the stadium for a really long time and there's a lot of moments in this video where I thought I was gonna get tickets, you might think we're gonna get tickets, but I'm just keeping it in because that's, that was, I'm just, this night was real, um, and so I'm just keeping everything in, but I promise you at the end I get into the show and I just feel like I want to keep everything in again to show y'all like the whole experience. Okay, so I'm at the Morris house in Houston. Time's 146. We're leaving at 3.30. I just did some research on TikTok and she said the box office was just going on Ticketmaster and finding tickets and she said she signed into her Ticketmaster account and you're just waiting to see if it's available. You don't even need a code. So like right now, I'm logged into Ticketmaster. It says it's sold out, but she says like just keep refreshing and it may pop up. So that's what I'm gonna be doing for the next hour, hour and a half, probably all night. Definitely for the next hour on my computer. So wish me luck. my makeup is pretty much done so because this is like not a show i planned on going to my outfit is not as put together as my other ones but i am going to go as lover and i have these face rhinestones so i'm gonna do the heart that she has on the album cover and then this is like one of my favorite tops from revolve and i feel like it has always reminded me of lover okay here's the final heart and then the fit i'm going comfy in case i'm like sitting outside of the stadium till 8 p.m i'm waiting for my portable charger to get charged i have my clear bag earplugs i'm not gonna bring a whole box but i'll put some in there my wallet in there i'm wearing just comfy white sneakers i need to put jewelry on and then we're gonna go let's check the master one more time Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Guys, I'm getting tickets! Oh my god, other people are beating me to it. No, 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 they're getting taken! No! They're here, but they're getting taken. This is what it's telling me. Oh my Another gosh. fan beat me to it. Okay, so. Please work. Please. Okay, I'm gonna sit here and refresh them until we leave. I literally was on the vlog. I'm like, I'm just gonna refresh it one more time. Ah, <sighs> the roller coaster. But if I got tickets now, then the vlog would be over, so. <laughs> it's meant to be. Okay, another one showed up, but I couldn't get it. Now we're going in the car, so I'm gonna switch to doing it on my phone. Fingers crossed. Okay, so Ticketmaster is the way to go. <laughs> 
that is like what you should try the most basically on friday they started releasing tickets at 3 30 um i was on my computer it says that there's no tickets but there is you also do not need a code you can just log on um as you can see the computer one i didn't get those and then we had to go in the car so i was working on my phone from here on out all of these section l road oh it's floor i'm gonna go for it it's loading it's 578 dollars if it's on ticketmaster it can't be like you're not over <sighs> sorry another fan beat you to it it's all right happy for them that's six tickets i'm literally getting car sick but here we are loading again yeah no i clicked on this one really fast this one like i clicked on right when it popped up on my screen it's a floor ticket Sorry, another fan beat yeah, to it. Did you get it or no? No. You guys, you will, you will know if I got it. Oh my gosh, there's so many. There's so many. There's so many. I don't know which one to choose. <sighs> got another one. Fan beat to it. Classic. I want this one at section B. It's $311. Like, I really, really, really want it. Oh, it's another fan. We have made it to the stadium. You can hear the helicopter. I am still just reloading Ticketmaster. It's 5.10. The other goes on at 8, so we're fine on time. Okay, we're outside the stadium. I'm going through security. It's 5.30. <laughs> Don't have a ticket still, but I'm just still on Ticketmaster. Okay, so we got to the stadium at 5.30. We parked um, and took pictures outside the gates. And then there's basically like two checkpoints. There's a security checkpoint which I just went through and you don't need a ticket for that one. So merch is inside of there. Um, there's also merch outside the security. No, I think there's only merch inside the security checkpoint, but you need a clear bag to get into that, all the like stadium rules, but you don't need a ticket. They don't even like check tickets at that point. So that's how I was able to get in. After those gates, there's then another checkpoint where you do need to have a ticket. So I was hanging out in this like outside section that you didn't need the ticket for but there also was like no food no water um there were bathrooms but you also couldn't i couldn't even bring water in if i wanted to because of the security checkpoints so yeah but that's how i got in and that's how you would get in if you wanted merch which isn't in this video but it will be in my next vlog and i'll explain how i got this anyways okay i'm in they let me in with my portable charger this box office is closed don't know what's next for me <laughs> Okay, so my first stop was the box office because I had done some research and I saw this girl on TikTok in Tampa. She went to the box office pretty early and starting at 3, they started giving away tickets. But she said they were inside also just going on Ticketmaster. And so I just went to box office to see like if they had had tickets and NRG Stadium, which was Houston, was not doing any like tickets at the box office. They were only doing online tickets. So they like honestly wanted nothing to do with me they were not going to give me tickets okay so here's an update i just went to the box office and they said that they didn't have any but then there were these people outside they're like how many do you need I said face value 300 400 i gave them my number and they said to meet them at 6 45 and we're gonna go in together i don't know how i feel about that i don't know if this is gonna work but i'm still i'm, I'm still gonna look for my own ticket that's like plan b i guess going with these strangers we're waiting in line for the bathroom i'm acting calm but i don't feel calm i feel very anxious and nervous my updates on the tickets i just met with the guys again they were trying to sell me standing room only for 300 dollars. Yeah. standing room at the top i was like they're 50 right no i'm gonna wait but he said i could call him if i don't find anything so yeah so basically this scalper situation it's a scam <laughs> um i don't i don't know anything about ticket scalpers but for the taylor concert i would not do it all the people were offering me with standing room only or like floor bands which you'll see and it just means you don't have an actual ticket um especially because i don't even think energy really did standing room only like some taylor shows do and he was also offering me 300 dollars for standing room only like up at the top and those are worth 50 so i just wasn't gonna risk it i will say like as much as these scalpers keep offering to like take people in i did see once i did get in there a girl who was surrounded by security and they were asking to see her ticket and my guess is that she did the thing where she just had the band and went in and she like didn't actually have a ticket and she got caught 
Okay, I've departed from Anna in Brooklyn, still trying tickets. I asked the box office, they said they don't have any, it's just online and that I should keep trying. Grandmaster's still showing some and it's 6.07 so I'm not going to look at resale till like very close to the show or after the show starts or at least after the openers start because I don't think they're going to go down until then and as of right now, Ticketmaster is still giving like face value stuff so that's where we're at. In the shade, so like I'm honestly doing good except for the fact that I've gotten that notification that another fan has gotten the tickets like so many times. But it's okay. Decided to sit, because why not? I'm still feeling very hopeful. I know I'm gonna get in tonight, like for sure. Like I'm here, I'm getting in. But it's just how much am I gonna spend to get in, you know? Um, and I'm definitely not spending 300 on standing room only. It's not happening. I'm fine with paying $500 if it's the, for the floor, but I don't wanna pay $500 for like not a $500 ticket, if that makes sense. So that's my budget that I have in mind. Okay, I just want to say also the kind of tickets that were popping up were lower bowl and um, floor tickets mainly, especially like towards the end, there was mostly just floor. I'm going to try to find the prices. Like I only screenshotted a few, but this was a floor ticket, section B, row 29, and it was $311. So I think that means like row 29 isn't as close, I think. So it's cheaper. This one, section L, row 19 was 436 so the floor ones just like vary based on where you are in the floor and then this one was lower level section 105 row jja which is like it looks like it's almost to the like second level floor and that was 374 so I, I don't know what the fees were because i didn't actually get to go check out yeah these lower bowls are 374 one section D row four, so like you're on the fourth row on the floor, uh, was 561. So those are kind of the prices. So really no like nosebleeds were going out at this point. Like it was really good tickets, but expensive. And I kind of mentioned this, but again, I like had a budget and I didn't want to spend, I honestly wouldn't have spent anywhere from like 300 to $400. The ticket I ended up paying for was more than that, but it was worth like at that amount that I got so the merch line is insane that's the merch line and they don't even have the blue crew neck that I've been wanting so not waiting that I'm really thirsty and really dehydrated so as soon as I get in the stadium even if the show started I'm getting water my phone's overheating so I'm giving it a little break I have a portable charger so I'm not worried about my charging which is good it's like one less thing I have to worry about it's 616 I'm on StubHub now because Ticketmaster said they were sold out for a bit so I'm just like switching app. They're getting a lot cheaper on here like earlier today lower bowl was like over a thousand and now they're about 600. I'd like for them to get lower than 500 like this one is row A for 513 and I'm really tempted but it's only 616 and I'm willing to wait till like 730 even after the show starts. I'm like still feeling hopeful I knew this would happen so I'm just switching between SeatGeek, StubHub, Game time, even though game time I haven't really seen any good ones yet, and Ticketmaster. And then also, I have my credit card in all of these accounts. I can just click and buy. Just keep showing me this, and I just keep loading and loading. And every time it says they're sold out, I just try again. And then eventually, one will pop up. And if I'm fast enough, I'll be the fan that gets it. Okay, so one pops up, I click on it. I don't even read it, I just click on it. And if it loads too long, I go like that and it'll show me that. This time I clicked on it and it sent me to like, it's like for some reason taking me online and I don't know if that's gonna help me more. Okay, so I did like not a good job at explaining this, but for some reason within the Ticketmaster app, it started like, you know how when an app takes you to Safari but still within the app? It was doing that which was easier to refresh and stuff, but there was still no queue. And I think on Saturday, because I tried to get tickets again for Saturday just for someone else, it doesn't really do that. It goes straight to the queue, which you'll see later. Like, I think, I don't know if on Friday they were still trying to figure it out or something, but the formats kept changing. And I also just, I, I'm starting to have issues with Ticketmaster and that's literally like the whole thing. So stay tuned. Now it looks like this. Don't get your hopes up, guys. That, that doesn't mean I have them necessarily. Maybe. No. Okay, a lot just popped up. So I'm hoping that like all the people on it are evenly distributed and I maybe get this one. This one's floor row 12 for 
$436. Sorry, another fan beat you. It's all right. I'm so dehydrated. The only thing I'm really struggling with right now. I don't know how I got to this point where it's like on Safari in the Ticketmaster Master app, but that's definitely easier to update. I mean, I still haven't gotten a ticket, but like it feels better and faster. Okay, there's one for resale right now on SeatGeek for $323 on the second bowl level. But I think I'm gonna wait still because Taylor doesn't come on for another hour and a half. I just got another notification where it was like the event has started or it's already passed. I got nervous, but then I refreshed it again and there was another ticket. I'm still gonna stay on and hopefully that notification scares other people to get off. Except I also have gotten a notification that they think I'm a robot, so that's not making me feel hopeful because I feel like they're not gonna give me one. Okay, I just had another guy come up to me and he offered to get me on the floor for 300 but no seat. Um, and I said no. <laughs> Because I want to see. Okay, time is now 6.41. Ticketmaster still has some. Still not getting them, but 6.51. I really like still have straight up an hour before Taylor gets on. I'm like so good. Okay, it's officially 7.01. I think in 20 minutes, I'm really gonna seriously look at resale because I don't know how much more they're gonna drop after that, but also like, I don't know, I'm torn because I don't know if I should just buy or if I should wait till after the show starts because I feel like it'll be even cheaper then. 7.12. Physically, I'm not feeling that great. It's just because like I'm a little sick and I just, I desperately need water. But I'm still refreshing on Ticketmaster also just because like the other sites really overwhelm me and as long as they're still showing tickets on here, I'm gonna try. Okay, another new thing's happening on Ticketmaster. They just asked me to join the queue as if I was like buying tickets for the first time. I had to log in. Now it's a blank screen. I'll refresh, I guess. See, it says like join the queue. Oh my gosh, those people I saw just got that. Oh, I want that to be me. I feel like I got it on Ticketmaster. I don't know why my Ticketmaster isn't working. I'm gonna join the queue one more time and see. Okay, authenticate your account. Done. Okay, this is something new that I haven't seen before. Okay, I'm not a robot. I'm so not a robot. I have a good feeling about this. Calculating. I'm in the queue. 82 people ahead of me. Okay, I really should have gotten in this queue earlier, but it wasn't letting me. I'm gonna stay on here for five minutes. If the number goes down, I'm gonna stay. Okay, the number is going down. 66 people ahead of me. I feel like this is it, guys. 43 people ahead of me. So after the queue, it's pick your seats. 12 people ahead of me. Oh, I'm getting in somewhere. Okay, section 129, row B. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. So check out. Oh my god, oh my god. Check out. I'm here loading. I think I got them, guys. 727. Taylor's not even on yet. It's loading, but I'm at checkout. Still loading. I'm just gonna leave it. Okay, it's still loading. I don't know how long I wait here for it to load, but it's 7.28 right now. I'm feeling like there's a cancel button. I feel like I maybe press that in two minutes. I'm like so lightheaded, honestly, like I probably couldn't wait. Okay, it's 7.29 in a minute. I think I'm gonna press cancel. I feel like this isn't gonna go through. I feel like this isn't going through. I'm gonna hit cancel. Are you sure you want to release the tickets in this card? No. I feel like that means that no one else is gonna take them, and so I don't know why it's like taking so long. Let me scroll. It's not letting me press like I have read and agree. I feel like I should release them and try again. I'm gonna release the ticket. There's another one. Row 104, row B. Let's hope this works for me. It's moving even slower now. People are texting me like there's tickets on Ticketmaster. Like I know I'm trying. It just keeps me on this gray screen and I don't know what to do. Okay, I'm trying to have someone like do it for me. I said yes, please. My mom's not texting me back. No one's texting me except for my boss, which I love her so much. Okay, I'm trying to get master again. Let me in, join the queue. Something went wrong. I can't get in the queue anymore. Fingers crossed that Kendall can get to get. I'm going on SeatGeek now. The prices are getting slightly better. Okay, she just said 580. I hope she can get it. Okay, StubHub's, their prices are pretty expensive. The tickets like are definitely going down in quantity. It's 739, like she's about to come on. My Ticketmaster uninstalled and is reinstalling. Like, okay. Okay, so at this point, um, Kendall is just putting in her credit card information. I'm just waiting for her. I'm kind of looking at SeatGeek, but like just like really hoping that Kendall can get me this ticket. She said that she was working on her phone and using data, um, which I was too, but I think I just, I'll explain in a second. Okay, she said, got credit card info in, want me to buy, yes please, 740. Okay, she's typing, she's typing, she's typing, she's typing, sending tickets now. <laughs> Guys, okay, like it's go time. I'm going in. I'm going in. 
I literally have a ticket, oh, but my Ticketmaster app isn't working. Something went wrong. My Ticketmaster account is not working. Okay, I'm just like, I'm confused. Hi, is it going through? Oh, okay, I got an email. Kendall, you are actually amazing. Thank you so much. My uh, my Ticketmaster account thinks I'm like a robot, I think. It just won't let me accept the tickets. Why not? It thinks I'm a bot. I'm gonna go up to customer service and hopefully they can help me. It says it's sending, but it won't let me accept the ticket, so hopefully they'll be able to help me. Hi. So I um, have a ticket and it says accept ticket, but I think I'm locked out of my account. Is there any way you could pull it up or? You're gonna be hearing a lot more from me now because I, this is so annoying, but my camera like stops filming at 20 minutes and I didn't realize that my camera had stopped filming at this point at the box office. So I literally missed like all the good parts, but it's okay. I'm gonna let it go and I'm gonna explain to y'all what happened. So basically I'm at the um, customer service, which I actually did get a lot of footage from, but it's just they you can't really hear them these people they were so nice like honestly they were but they had no urgency whatsoever like it is 7 45 at this point like i can hear like the crowd screaming like it's she's about to come on she she comes on earlier than eight eight o'clock i think she came comes on at like 7 50 something no urgency so this guy i'm trying to explain that my phone Basically, Ticketmaster has locked me out. Like I mentioned earlier, I started getting this notification that it thinks I'm a bot. And it gives me this notification, like, I don't have a screenshot of it, but it was like, like, either you're doing going too fast or you're a robot, like, we can't process your request right now or something like that. So I ignored it. I had honestly gotten this notification, like, over an hour before, and I was just keeping going on Ticketmaster. So y'all probably may have a chance to get on Ticketmaster, but I think they flagged me as a robot, like, really early on because I was just, like frantically doing it and I don't know how to prevent that because how do you get tickets but then also just like go slow enough for Ticketmaster not to think you're a robot. Anyways, so it wouldn't let me log into my account. Kendall had even sent me her Ticketmaster account. It wouldn't let me log into her account. Like it was my device that was the issue. Like it, it wasn't like the Ticketmaster account itself and now I'm scared that my phone is like flagged forever but I guess that's, I guess that's an issue for the next concert. So I go to the people. They uh, need the order number. I give them my order number. They need my ID. I give them my ID. He says the tickets are not in this name. He said yes, right. Um, they're in Kendall's name. She's trying to like transfer them to me and he was like, I just like they're not in your name and <laughs> It was so frustrating. I've like kept my cool, but it was just like it was really hard They just like didn't know what was going on because they just didn't understand my issue and they their job is to not give random tickets out to people. So I was like, can I use someone's phone to log into Ticketmaster? Like, can you log into, like, just log into my account on your computer, on your phone, and accept the tickets and text me the tickets? Like, I just need to use some other device than my phone, like, anything. He was like, I can't do that. Fair. But still, like, oh my god. So I'm like... I, I can call Kendall, like, here's her text messages. I'm showing him the text messages. I'm showing him my email that, like, I can't accept the ticket. Like, he's making me continuously log on to Ticketmaster. He doesn't understand why it's not working. I understand why it's not working and that it's not going to work. And he just, like, wants me to keep trying different browsers, like, all this stuff. Time is just ticking and ticking and ticking. So he was like, I need her to be here. I need the ID. And I was like, okay, if she sends me a picture of the ID, can you, like, do it from there? So he, like, he doesn't really say yes, but I just text Kendall to, like, send me her ID, and I give him the phone to where you can see the ID. He cross-references it, and he's like, great. He goes and tries to transfer the tickets, and he can't transfer them because Kendall has tried to transfer them to me. So Kendall needs to go and cancel the transfer so that then he, the tickets are now, like, still under her name. And at this point, like, he walks away. <laughs> Okay, I think the, um, I think it's canceled. I think it's starting. It's okay. It's okay. Canceled. Right now, I think. My tickets are canceled. I think they're canceled. And so he's, like, not there anymore. Kendall's canceling the tickets. When she's done, I'm like hello please like I think they're canceled now 
finally someone comes. This is like when my camera cuts off, not that it matters because I'm like explaining it to y'all now anyways. I can't think about that either because it makes me so upset that I didn't get the next few moments. They text me the tickets. I run. I run to the floor. I can hear the screams. I think she was already started at this point. I run to security, go to the first line, it doesn't work because I'm in the wrong, I'm in the floor line. Did I mention I got floor tickets? I think she got she got me floor tickets. I was section E, row 21, um, seat 19. Insane. So I'm running, um, I check in to the floor, I think I'm vlogging this whole thing, I'm running into people, like, I'm like, wow, this is gonna be the best footage ever that I'm not, like, I literally just hit, didn't hit record. I run in, I hit the end of Cruel Summer. I start crying like what I think just like the two times I've seen the show like I, other two times I've seen the show like I've started in the stadium and so like I don't know like walking into the floor when it was all lit up it was just like insane how many people were there and just being in that stadium is crazy to me too because I feel like like this is a side tangent but I feel like I don't have a like concept of numbers of people like especially when it comes to like subscribers and views and stuff so seeing 70,000 people in that stadium is like so insane and so and I also was dehydrated exhausted starving and I just started crying so lover is my favorite era that she does at the tour so I stayed during lover and during fearless and I'm just like crying cannot believe I'm in like I am exhausted then, during Fearless, I start feeling faint. Um, nothing serious, but definitely, like, was like, okay, I need to go get water and sit down. Okay, I'm going to get water because I'm, like, literally gonna faint, but it's so good. I think it's about to be Evermore, so... I sit down during Evermore. I was feeling good. Honestly, like, the adrenaline just kicked in, like, the three hours. The concert is literally amazing. Like, it's so, so, so good. Um, I also went to the bathroom towards the end of the 10 minute all too well version. Those were good planned spots for me to do so. It was just, it was amazing. Okay, so if you want to do what I am doing, here are my tips and tricks. Um, first of all, I would not necessarily recommend getting to the stadium as early as I did. Just to sit there, like it's almost worth it especially if you live close to the stadium or like just I don't know like go to a Starbucks and post up with your computer near the stadium so that one you can have multiple devices with you to try to get Ticketmaster tickets and you have access to water <laughs> and other stuff but for me like my ride was already getting there and it, it ended up working out fine also if you have someone at home like kendall who can like buy them for you that'd be great resale did not get as low as i thought it would and i don't think that um you should bank on that some of the restricted view seats did get really cheap but those are like really restricted so just i hope you know that but i mean the show is amazing either way and like you're just in the stadium but all the like better seats where you'd be able to see her they're expensive like they don't really get down to face value especially with the fees and everything so yeah it also was like a lot easier for me to get it because I was one person but a few times when I was checking out it did accidentally like put in two in my cart and it was letting me buy two so I don't know what the limit for Ticketmaster is I've only known people who have gotten pairs of two or less obviously I have heard of a lot of like Ticketmaster is just releasing tickets and I don't know what that's about I think they just like find seats towards the end but they start releasing it anywhere from like three to four the day of era's tour resale on twitter they have been releasing tickets like almost every day basically it's like fan to fan selling so it's all face value the only downside is like it's gained extreme popularity that like everyone wants the tickets and i don't really i think it's like up to the person who's selling the tickets like which dm they choose so it's worth a shot for sure especially because they're face value tickets but i know it's really hard but i would turn on your post notifications for that because even now they're releasing tickets for like later cities just like as they get them i'm trying to think if there's anything else i would just say like Ticketmaster is your best bet don't do scalpers resale doesn't get super cheap but i I will say with resale, there were tickets that were going on for face value. Like I could see it sometimes showed you like what tickets had just sold and obviously those were going like that. So I think you can get really lucky if you just happen to be on the resale site at the correct time, but it's 
more worth it to put your energy towards Ticketmaster, especially once Ticketmaster starts releasing tickets. So I would say like up until ticket the day of for Ticketmaster, definitely like keep looking on resale sites because I think there are cheaper ones that pop up, just people buy them right away because they're the cheapest ones. Overall, it was just, it was so amazing. And I talk about like the tour more in, I posted an Arlington vlog and I'm posting another vlog for Houston when we had like VIP tickets and everything. But this vlog, I really just wanted to be informative because the show is so good. And I like hope that everyone who wants to see it is able to see it. And it's just, it's been such a great experience and I'm so, so grateful that I have the like financial capacity to literally just sit there and buy a $500 ticket outside the stadium and that I'm able to also spend more money to see her multiple times. Super grateful. It's just like, it was so amazing. And shout out to Kendall for like saving the whole night and getting me tickets. Shout out to Taylor for being amazing and being just like a genius mind that creates just such an amazing show. Subscribe because I have another fun vlog coming up and I do like Taylor music for those vlogs and they're just like it's so good. Um, I love you all so much. Thanks for watching. Good luck to all of you who are trying to get tickets. I am putting out the best energy, the best vibes that you will all get to see Taylor Swift at the Eras tour. Love you all and I will see you in my next video. I'm gonna meet Anna in Brooklyn at the car. Where is the car? Is a good question. That's like, that would be like a great question to know. Make sure I don't run into someone. I'll make sure. Um, oh, you know what? I'm like so in the wrong lot. Also, I'm like low key being delusional at this point. Like, I'm editing this back and I'm like, that, that literally did not make sense. We're not this close to the stadium. Okay, this is a step. <laughs> I have walked through three lots, but I think this one is the one that the car is actually in. What an adventure. I went back and looked at the vlog footage to see where we were. There it is. I see it. Yay.